I love that there's not many people here. Um, it's an enormous city that's pretty vacant, and we get to do all sorts of stuff that most other people can't do in major cities. You know, like this is this is the city. This is the one. I love it. Just recently turned 29. And I probably started riding BMX about 15 years ago, and it was all because of just seeing these guys as like older dudes on BMX bikes and just hitting these dirt jumps and soaring through the air. It's like seeing Evil Knievel on television your first time. It's something you'll never forget. So as a kid, seeing someone on a BMX bike, it was another Evil Knievel. And me having my bike and just jumping curbs and building ramps out of milk crates in a two by four or sheet of wood or whatever. Not a better feeling than riding your bike. I think BMX affects Detroit in a positive way just because it brings a lot of people here. Like not too many people will go to, you know, somewhere out in the sticks here or ride their bike. They want to come to a big city and because it is kind of in ruins, it makes it a little more interesting as far as spots that we can ride. People like us, for instance, we look at things totally differently than anybody else. So we see, you know, a wall that fell down or a floor that caved in and we look at it as like, hey, how can I ride my bike on that? Or what can I do on that to make that fun? Rather than seeing it as just garbage. The best thing about BMX in Detroit is that we have that opportunity to take over spots and just make them our own without anybody saying anything. Stuff like this. Abandoned lot. We take it over, we make it into something. Now it's something. Before it was nothing. We call this Brush Park BMX. It's an old playground that was abandoned in the early 80s, I believe. And now it's a place for people to meet and hang out and get along. The people are taking spots in the city and making it into something new and useful again that you know was once vacant. And what we're doing here is a perfect example of it. We're, you know, this is a community type uh, organization. It's a, it's a loose organization, but it's just trying to promote equality, community, you know. I'd rather have our own use of creative space. If a skate park sucks, you can't do anything about it, but if you got an open space where you can do whatever you want, you can make it fun. One thing about Detroit, and they're like, oh, it's, and that's a bad place. Like, this is not a bad place. This is a great place. I want, I want, I want to help the kids, um, even if it's just giving them proper manners or being a positive example, you know, because that's the future of the city. They're the ones that are going to be here. I hope to see Detroit in the next 20 years, somewhere where people wouldn't be afraid to come down. Like where people wouldn't be like, oh my God, you're gonna go hang out in Detroit? I would want it to be more like, oh yeah, let's go down to Detroit. I think the worst thing that could happen to Detroit is if it becomes a big city again and it doesn't keep its character that it has right now. The way the city is right now with the, the creatives and you know the history, I hope that it just only grows bigger from that and not just Walmart. It's weird the way it is right now. We're not just teaching kids how to ride bikes or how to make jumps. We're teaching them how to how to get along with people and work together and you know, make something as a as a team, as a group. We're all people.